New developments now in the Rim Fire. Firefighting officials say more than 192,000 acres have burned and the fire continues to grow larger with each passing hour. We also know that 4,500 structures are being threatened tonight. But the encouraging news is crews are making progress as the fire is 30% contained tonight. The cost of fighting the fire now estimated at roughly $39 million. Well, that firefight has moved closer to home as Merced County and the U.S. Fire Service closed a five-year deal to use Castle Airport as a staging area. And firefighters started using the airport yesterday afternoon. Action News reporter Anthony Pura is there live tonight with why both parties see it as a great move. Anthony? Warren, Liz, the DC-10s are the largest aircraft being used in the firefight, and they are now flying out of Castle Airport. They were flying out of Sacramento, but this is much closer to the fire, saving time and money. Now, Merced County has long wanted to utilize this airport more and more over the years, so when the situation occurred, they were more than happy to lend a hand. The DC-10s are the largest of the firefighters' aerial fleet. Weighing 368,000 pounds, crews fill it with an additional 95,000 pounds of fire retardant and water to be unleashed on the wildfire. To knock the heat out of the fire so the fire crews can actually get next to the fire to put in fire lines to control the fire. Castle Airport's nearly 12,000 foot long runway makes it well equipped in accommodating the massive plane's takeoffs and landings. As of Tuesday afternoon, the county struck a five year deal with the U.S. Forest Service to do just that. The agreement that was struck uh, gives them the, the ability to leverage this facility uh, to, the, to its fullest extent so that again they can do what they do best which is ensure public safety. The plane can drop nearly 12,000 gallons of water to douse the flames. The DC-10s are owned by 10 Tanker Air Carrier, a company contracted by the U.S. Forest Service. The planes were used in battling several fires around the country this year. Our crews are very proficient. We train a lot. And this year, we've gotten a lot of action. Uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of big fires. The fire isn't very far from the airport. A plume of smoke can be seen from the runways as the aircraft heads straight for it. In about 30 minutes, it was back, ready to refuel and refill on water and retardant. It will do that over and over again as many times as necessary until firefighters can get the fire contained. For now, the DC-10s are the only aircraft flying out of Castle Airport. The C-130s and other planes being used in the fire fight, they are flying out of surrounding airports in the area and state. Reporting live from Castle Airport, Anthony Pura, ABC 30 Action News.